Hello and welcome to a new video about Arduino. Last time we heard what an Arduino is, the hardware. We were, renting, we were discussing the hardware. This time we are installing the software, the necessary software. Arduino is providing us with a so-called IDE, Integrated Developer Environment. Okay? This IDE software package contains everything we need to program our Arduino translate this program into an understandable bit pattern for our controller and to copy it to the controller. So it contains a text editor where we can write the so-called source code. The source code for Arduino is written in C++, okay? at least in the Arduino IDE, C++. Then there is a so-called compiler which will translate this source code into a series of bits and bytes only understood by the controller. Huh? So the source code is human readable and the machine code, well, it's understood by the controller. A human is very hard, for a human it's very hard to understand, yeah? but the controller then knows what to do. Then this program, this translated program, needs to be copied somehow, flashed to the controller, and this is done by the loader. And all those things together they are inside this IDE. Well, and this is provided by Arduino. So you can download it on their homepage. Yeah? Visit it on www.arduino.cc. Go there. Yeah? There's a link, software, click it. Yeah? Then you get to the, to the download page. And we are using the Arduino IDE 1.8. Yeah. And since I'm using Windows, I will download Windows Win 7 and newer. Yeah. This is Windows 10 computer. So we'll do this. Contribute. I have already contributed because these Arduino guys really make uh, just <laughs> good stuff. Yeah. So I press just download. Yeah. If you want to, to share some bugs or not, I don't really care. Yeah. So I will save this. Save this Arduino IDE now. It is going to be downloaded to your computer. And then you have just to well, call it, yeah, install it. You have to be aware. Yeah, you have to allow, of course, the installance. Uh, this is typical Windows behavior. Yeah, do you with this and that application needs to. It is good that it does this. So the download is ready. Open it. Yeah. Yes, I want. Yeah. And here we have. Ah, the license agreement, I have already read through this license agreement, of course, and with the click of I agree, yeah, we get to the selection page. What do you want to, to, to install? Well, I, of course, what you need to install is the Arduino software. Yeah? You cannot even click it away. And I would also advise you to install the USB driver. If you want to have a start, a start menu shortcut and a desktop shortcut, uh, you know, it's INO files, by the way, .INO. This is a typical uh, extension for Arduino, Arduino uh, programs. Okay. So for me, this is okay. I'll press next and install it in that directory. And I will not cut this now. I will, will wait to get it to make it in real time so that you see how long it takes. Because sometimes this really looks like if it does not move anymore, it does nothing. Yeah? And please don't get nervous. Yeah? This is simply how it is. Yeah? You just have to wait a little bit for it. This is, for instance, one thing. Yeah? Right now it looks like up to now everything was moving and now it just froze, it froze. It did not freeze. Just be patient. <laughs> it's going to ask shortly if it shall install the driver for the USB port. And then of course we say yes, yes, please, we trust Arduino. At least I do. Yeah. Okay. Close. Now the Arduino IDE 
IDE, IDE, switching to German. IDE is installed. So we can try to start it. You should find it in your start. Arduino. This is how it should look like. Okay. This is the typical look of the Arduino IDE. Yeah. You see there are already some things written inside, what is behind this and so on. I will explain in the next video, because in the next video we are going to download our first program to Arduino. This will do practically nothing, but at least we are sure this downloading is working. Or actually it's called uploading here, right? Upload, yeah. I always mix this up. In the Siemens control system I downloaded everything and to the Arduino I need to upload it. It's just names. Copy it to this control system. Okay. This we will do in the next video. Yeah. For this video now we've installed the software, we know the hardware. Meanwhile from last video, next video, program it. Okay. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.